Man, I do like this theme. Very peppy for a town theme. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. We were in here. I remember this place now. It's been a few days. I'm sorry. All right, so we've pretty much finished everything we can do here for the time being. There's an empty gym. A gym leader who is too busy taking care of a sick Pokemon to face us at the moment, which is understandable. Annoying, but understandable. So let's head on out this way. Great waves here. No one can resist such waves. Oops. South to Cyanwood City. That is a thing we're interested in. I'm Monica of Monday. Well, that's kind of a blow up because today is Tuesday. But it tells you when I recorded this part. <laughs> Power of flying type moves. Well, that would be interesting, except we didn't have any. There'll soon be a battle frontier past here. Get in line if you want to be the second one in. Nah, I'm not really about camping out. I got things to do. Sorry. You shouldn't make a line here. See, that's what I'm talking about. I would have gotten in trouble if I listened to you, sir. Alright, so um, who knows what Pokemon we're going to encounter when we surf. We have not yet done it. But it's time to surf on our Elekid. <laughs> He's on board. He's like, yeah, I got it. That's basic. Okay. You don't have to insult me, sir, but okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and rock Umbreon until he gets to 26 and then switch it up. We I mean, are sort of getting to the point where Umbreon's gonna need to get something new, something fun. He's okay right now. He's still very tanky, which is what Umbreon's do. And he has two decent moves. And the fire coverage does help, even though we have other Pokemon that do that. Particularly Typhlosion, but not just him. However, none of these dark attacks are very good. Payback is situationally pretty good. Thief... I mean, it, it's a thing. I don't think it's successfully worked yet, although that could be because our Umbreon's holding something. I haven't honestly looked. Hmm. Robust stats. Even if it were something like Dark Pulse, it would be an improvement. Our special attack's not as good as our attack, but... Dark Pulse is 90 base power, and we're three minutes into the video, and we've already freaked it out. Well... I don't want to redo those three minutes, so we're going to save and restart. <laughs> in case you're wondering, save states do not work around this. If you save state in a glitched area, and then you load, you're still glitched. That's just a thing that happens. So, uh, it doesn't work. Anyways, fast forward. Do -do -do. Oh, hey. You can kind of see why the graphics might freak out. Look at us bobbing in the water. Our head is like pulsating. Okay, what wild Pokemon are on the sea? This is our first chance. Um. <laughs> so. Uh. This is gonna be such an impossible catch rate, but we said we would make an honest effort. at least do neutral damage with Umbreon. In this game, Dark is still resisted by Steel, so... Maybe Payback will do more? It is going to go second, but it's resisted, but it's Stab. Probably about the same. Yep. Well, the good news is we can certainly milk this so that we don't worry about murdering it, get it to low health, and then try some nonsense. We can spore it. And we have a few Ultra Balls. We can give it the old college try. It hasn't had a particularly impressive moveset yet, but it's a Dialga. I'm sure we can figure that out eventually. Or we can teach it TMs if we happen to catch it. I 
think we can risk one more. We'll stick with Payback because we actually don't want Fire Punch's 10% chance of burn to hit. That would be bad. All right. Well, we're about to get to the moment of truth here. Dialga has to have a catcher at three. Not a flash cannon. That'll sting a bit. God, this didn't one shot. That said, if he gets that off again on a turn where he wakes up or something, we're in a bit of trouble. I don't think I want to try to throw balls at this if it's not asleep. I just think the odds are just not in our favor. They're already not in our favor. It's just worse. Um, let's throw these two heavy balls because Dialga is quite heavy being a steel type and a big old dragon. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'll admit, I'm not particularly familiar with heavy balls. I know of their existence. I don't know what the multiplier is based on weight. 1,500 pounds, though, has got to be among the heaviest Pokemon. I bet you Waylord might, might be heavier. Snorlax is way up there, you know, but that might actually be the best possible candidate for a heavy ball. We also might have just seen the end of Togepi in this playthrough. <laughs> uh, but we'll take a look. It's going to be a bit because we're already committed to going across the water here. We have barely started, but... No. Mm, uh, mm, okay. I hesitated and I got an encounter for my trouble. Wow. Also, that Dialga that we just saw was level 25, which kind of fits into our party right now. This one's 13. And we're going to run from it. Because <laughs> we're frightened. I mean, it's a Dialga. And while I'm not usually a fan of rocking legendaries on my team, particularly in a regular playthrough, this is not a regular playthrough. And we have seen so many dragon legendaries that I've almost lost count. Do a quick heal. Just for Venusaur and Umbreon's sake. And some PP. And then we're going to have a look. Now, this moveset is still not great, but we know the stats are going to be. <laughs> Gotta be honest with you, I almost go out of my way not to use legendaries in a regular playthrough. I don't want to spike the difficulty when I'm going through the game. Alright, so he's naughty. He's got super luck, which is... Eh? He's got a cool cry. One of my favorites. We don't really have any moves that do critical hits, um, but it still works on base moves to do more critical hits more often. Poison Fang is an interesting little side thing. Poison does not have very good type coverage, especially in a world without Fairy yet, but it gives us some options. Gyro Ball, a decent attack. I don't think he used it against us. Flash Cannon is the winner here. That's a really good one, and his special attack is higher. Uh, Gyro Ball, unfortunately, his speed is up 10%, isn't it? Or is that attack that's up? It's really hard to tell from here. I think the attack is tinted slightly red. I can see special defense is blue. That's easy. Maybe it's his attack. Uh, but in any case, even though speed is not Dialga's strong point, he's a legendary. He doesn't have bad speed. So this is not going to be super good, but it's also not terrible. Metal Burst, I mean, it can be good. Um... <laughs> It wasn't in that fight because he outsped us. He kept using it and it didn't work. But unfortunately for Togepi fans, and look, I love Togepi, the happiness thing is going to be too difficult to manage in a world where we don't know what in the world's going on. So Dialga, welcome. Welcome aboard. I mean, it seems a shame to catch a legendary. He, he wanted to join the party. I mean, you saw. Dialga's genderless, so referring to it as he is kind of incorrect, but... By default, everything in this playthrough has been male so far, so was the Togepi we put away, so I've kind of slipped into the habit of calling them all he. I'm sorry. It's just the way it's worked out. Did they not... Is Dialga... No, no, there he is. <laughs> I was going to say, is Dialga not going to follow us? No, he was just too big for the Pokemon Center, but now that we're outside, he's like, Hey, hey guys, I'm a sailor. That's what he talks like. I don't know why. Shut up. All right, so back to work. 
But the only downside is he does not have a uh, dragon type move, which normally you wouldn't worry about that much, especially if you just had an ice move either. In this game, we've seen so many dragons that I kind of would like one. Uh, I did the wrong menu. Let's take a look real quick at if it can learn any of the major stuff here. I don't really want to teach it Blizzard. I know we have Blizzard and it is an ice move, but... Did Yoga learn Surf? That's kind of fair. I almost don't want him to because he weighs 1,500 pounds. I have to suspend disbelief more for a Dialga than I do for an Elekid. And that's wrong. He's not able to learn Rock Smash either. Uh, I guess we'll look at Blizzard just for curiosity. So far, only Elekid could. Dialga is able to. That is very tempting. You know, we're going to let it rock. Honestly, the main reason is because of Blizzard's terrible accuracy in this gen. I really don't like moves like that. I will always go for an Ice Beam over a Blizzard. It's just the way I am. It's a little bit tougher in the more recent games. Um, I feel like Blizzard might be 120 power 85 accuracy. In the most recent gen, I think all three moves might be that. But they've always been so all over the place that it's hard to tell. Alright, so flash cannons are our go to here. I'm not going to be trying to poison any ghosts. That's silly. Another potential problem here. Not a huge problem, but it's going to be a little bit difficult to level Dialga, but that's not too bad. Uh, I would also say that I'm running on a Pokemon because I'm clearly way too weak to be swimming. God, that looks so weird when he pops out. Because <laughs> the first the first movement is just me, and then when I step forward, Dialga pops out, and he's, you know... Here he looks to be about twice my size. He's probably something like ten times my size. You know what, I'm glad you guys are having fun swimming. I like swimming too. It's just this thing where like, I'm 10, so I probably can't swim this large distance between cities. I don't know, kids think they have boundless energy, but. Also note, legendary dragon. I don't remember if we've seen a Palkia yet. If we did, it was one. I also don't remember what Palkia is. Yaga Steel Dragon. Palkia is something. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it wouldn't be very effective, would it? I honestly don't remember. I don't think it's like Psychic Dragon. I don't remember what Palkia is. He's a dragon. Was he Water Dragon? Was that the thing that that would resist steel? Okay. Yep, that's what he is. He's the only... Him and Kingdra, the two that are... I mean, both of these are relatively good defensive types. The two main legendaries from this gen, Dialga and Palkia. Uh, steel, of course, resists a lot more, but also has more weaknesses. Water Dragon only has one weakness, and that's Dragon. I mean, we can do just about anything, but I suppose we'll go to the guy who's the specialist. Oh my god, he frisked me. We may actually be getting to the point here where some of these regular encounters are just going to end up being one-shots all the time. Not yet, but I feel like the tide is turning a bit. The main reason is just because we have a little bit better type coverage than we did earlier. So we have several opportunities for somebody to get one shot, especially in the case of this stuff. I mean, Pedal Dance with Stab. 
we've already established, is super powerful. Especially now. Alright. We, we gotta get in this encounter because the swimmers in this game and most Pokemon games are cute. Also, maybe a little bit too risque for kids playing this game. I don't know. Maybe kids don't even understand. Alright, Chawbok. I just a thing. Poison Fang. feel like two or three hitting a Venusaur, so let's just go to the one hit. Let's just do that instead. Plus, we can't have Alakazam fa falling behind, then we have to put him in front of the party. We just talked about why we don't want that. Okay, phew. Two speed Alakazam, really? Really? No, Mom. <laughs> Maybe I should feel bad. But I'll tell you what, I don't. So apparently, the Diagos are like tentacles, or cools, rather. <laughs> Just, they're ubiquitous. Look, it's your friends. You used to be roaming free with them, but you. We caught you in the first try, so you must clearly have wanted to come along with us. Okay, Dusk Noir. Those can be interesting. I'll tell you what, if this doesn't kill it, we'll try and catch one. This is sort of along the lines of what we have with Umbreon right now, where it's... He's, he's tanky, he's bulky. Nope, he died. <laughs> Can't really fault him. This is a legendary. With stab. Look at these stats. Mm. We really don't have any EVs on him yet. He's killed like four things. So that it's only going to improve. <laughs> Dude, I don't need your life story. Are we going to Pokemon battle or not? I level of detail, uh, detail seems silly to me. Anyway, this morning I had pancakes. I was out of syrup though, so I just had to have a little bit of powdered sugar. And, I mean, it was okay, I guess. I mean, pancakes and pancakes. I read the morning paper. You know, a lot of the headlines out there today are just pretty troubling. You know, you look at that and you're like, man, the world is messed up. I don't think my coffee maker's working properly. It might be on the fritz. I, I made coffee this morning, but some of the coffee grounds ended up in the bottom of my cup. It was pretty gross. I, I didn't really want my coffee this morning. Anyways, I went out of the water. It's a little bit colder than I'd like. I mean, it's, it's, it's okay. It's just, I would prefer if it was four or five degrees warmer. I swam past the girl, but she didn't even notice me on the way over. I, I don't know. I was trying to project her. Or of confidence, I guess I just can't muster it up. I, maybe if I'd had syrup on my pancakes, I would feel stronger. I just... I don't know, it was weird. By the time the Pokemon battle actually starts, we have fallen asleep and drowned. Venusaur for you. Just decent stats all around. Nothing superb. Gets the job done, though. <laughs> I have prune skin. It's really going to hurt my chances with the ladies, I think, but my mom always did warn me about staying in the water too long. Oh my god. Just, but just, I, I'm, I'm prepared to run away. In the next part, I'm running away. 